I've been spotted. Ah! Ah! This game is the hardest shooting game I've ever played. Oh look, Gollum 3000 has been banned by Battleye. Just shows you how much cheating is going on in this game. The guy I'm going to meet, he's been creating cheats for a few years now. I'm interested to see what he's got to say about this community of cheat hackers out there and the growing problem of cheating. He says it just adds to the, the fun of the game for him, but what about the millions of other people who play online who don't cheat? You could, you could get in some serious trouble for this, could you? Yeah. If Ubisoft decides to come after you because of copyright infringement, you're, you're in for a tough time. In fact, four Chinese hackers, just like him, were recently arrested for allegedly creating and selling cheats. Police say they made $140,000 before being arrested. This teenage hacker, we'll call him Lucas, runs a smaller operation from the Netherlands. His business can still make almost £1,500 a week and his customer base is growing. I know quite some customers that actually are like in the top, top ranks mm. by using our product. So um, hang, on, hang on, some of the top ranked global players on this game use your cheats? Yes. Apparently there are even a few people that use it in like proper tournaments. Lucas's cheats are currently undetected, but players using other hacks have been caught red-handed. Watch as this eSports star tries to delete the evidence during a live, high-profile tournament. He was banned and sacked by his eSports team. Can we see what your cheats can do? Yeah, sure. First time I really made a cheat, I was like, man, this is awesome, I want to do this more. It was only a hobby, but then I realized that, you know, that I could make a lot of money off it because it's the only job I have at the moment. Oh, look at that. So already I can, we've loaded up and I can see much further. I can now shoot completely in one spot without any recoil. And when I shoot someone, it hurts them a lot more. Uh -huh. This is a completely different game now. Yeah. Ah, you almost okay. got there now. I almost completed it. Yeah. So should we play online now? Yeah, sure. We're not ruining anyone's game, but now we're about to. Cheating in gaming is almost as old as gaming itself, but things have changed a lot since the early days. Back then, a few cheat codes would affect a single player or maybe a group of mates. Arguably, it all started with the 80s classic Gradius. The legendary Code Army code, up, up, down, down, etc., was a secret sequence installed by the developer to make it easier for him to complete the game. But soon, word got out and the cheating began. But now gaming is online, it's global, and it's highly competitive. And a lot of people are saying the cheating has got out of control. Bami Leaf is a gaming streamer. She says the cheats are spoiling the yes. fun for millions. For them, it may be a little bit of fun, like, yay, I won the round. But everyone else, they didn't get a fair shot at that game at all. Like, the games can last up to half an hour. That's half an hour of game time that they've that's been wasted. Just put the time in. It's so much more rewarding. And it's not just gamers this is affecting. For game makers, cheating is one of the biggest problems in the industry. It's very frustrating that the people who are cheating are taking development resources away that could be used for new levels or improved gameplay. Ubisoft, the makers of this game, say they're committed to tackling the issue and use several tools to detect cheaters. Going after individual cheat creators, though, is difficult. The makers of Pokemon Go recently got a cheat company shut down by filing a lawsuit for intellectual property theft. The way the cheat industry is moving is making it even harder to police. Cheats are being sold in encrypted chat forums on platforms like Discord. We were shown four separate communities with hundreds of members in each. They're all well organised and work hard to stay undetected. So we're now playing online with nine strangers. Yep, you got oh. him. Uh, <laughs> I just shot him. someone through the ceiling. Through the floor. Yeah. Through the floor, because I could see them. Yes. That is not fair, is it? <laughs> no, it really isn't. It's easy. Yeah, it really is. Does that take the fun out of it? No. How do you feel about people using your cheats in actual tournaments where there's prize money and a lot of a lot at stake? Obviously, we don't condone it, but we're not going to be like, hey, you, you cannot do that. 
Lucas says he has no plans to stop making cheats. In fact, him and his team want to expand into other games. And as long as the customers keep coming and the games makers do nothing, his business and many others will keep on growing.